So these G36s seem to be making a comeback in popularity from what I understand. And of course, any of you gel blaster um, OGs or aficionados may know, but what I understand is the Wells G36 was kind of one of the first super popular gel blasters over in Australia. And you can see this is the model that basically Splatterball, um, you know, somewhat copied and, you know, so it, as the Splatterball in the United States. So uh, definitely it was a cool design and a lot of people liked it. And now we're seeing more G36s come up on Amazon. And of course, they all have their different nuances and differences where some are uh, motorized magazines, some are mechanical. So this is from the brand Vonari, V-O-N-A-E-R-I. And this one is mechanical. It comes with uh, the drum magazine. Um, we'll just kind of talk about everything that comes with here and put it together as we go. So everything you see on the screen comes inside the box. And of course, they give you some safety glasses, which we expect now, right? So everyone should be wearing some sort of eye protection. Um, they give you a little sling. So if you choose to use it, you got a couple spots you can hook the sling to on this blaster. 61,000 gel beads. So that's a great amount of gel beads. 10,000 per pack plus an extra thousand. Um, I've got special videos that specifically just spend five minutes on making gel beads, but just remember, give them plenty of room to grow. Pick, that means pick a big enough container, plenty of water to feed them, and anywhere from four to six hours or overnight, as long as there's water left over and room left over in the container, drain them out. You can store them uh, in airtight containers for a couple weeks, okay? Never store them in the actual magazine, right? In fact, it's critical with all magazines, make sure they're empty when you're done playing. So, of course, try to shoot all the gel balls out, but you're probably going to need to shake a few out and even push down this and whip a few out of the feed tube. So, speaking of the magazine, obviously, here's your drum magazine. This is where we'd fill it up. And now this being a mechanical magazine, you see there's no connections here. There's no motor inside that we can see. You can just see the mechanical pieces. If you're up close, got to make sure you prime this. And by priming it, I just mean you're going to click here for about five seconds till a gel ball pops out the top. And then that means it is ready to shoot once you got a gel ball at the top of that feed tube. Okay, so let's grab this and we'll show you where the magazine goes. So all these G36s kind of have that flip stock like that, right? So it locks in place here, flips open here. Okay, so we'll flip that open. And then your magazine just pops in there. Here's your magazine release. So you can see your mag well. Boom, easy to use. When it comes to buttons, obviously your trigger, automatic mode, safety mode, in safety, you can use the charging handle. You can go ahead and shoot single shot like that. But obviously this isn't going to prime the magazine because it's not motorized. Here's your battery compartment. So let's talk about that battery. It's a 7.4 volt, 500 mAh battery. Four pin connection, right? Same connection to charge and to go in the blaster. And your USB charger. Just plug that into one, any one amp or greater. AC adapter to charge that battery up and plug in right here and then this has a nice long battery compartment however each time you put a battery in a new blaster you kind of got to figure out the best way for it to go so this looks a little better because it keeps the harness kind of down out of the way clicks in got a nice rail here for accessories if you have some sort of foregrip side rails top rail all right, let's check that. Safety, automatic. Okay, so we know we're set there and that's good to go. Tip, so it does have an orange tip on it already, but then it comes with an additional orange tip that's kind of the traditional G36 tip. So there we go, all set up, ready to go. Um, later today when it warms up, I'll go outside, I'll go ahead and we'll do some shooting with this and we'll test the FPS on this and see where we're at. Okay, so guys, what do you think? Comments, questions, please post them below. And of course, please like, please subscribe, share with your friends, and participate in all the giveaways. I'm happy to give back to all those who support me. I got lots of blasters, so I do uh, multiple giveaways per month in the, the summer months here of 2022, and at least one blaster contest per month after that. Hopefully, I'll be able to continue doing too. 
All right, thanks again. Check back for that demo video with FPS test. This is the Von Airy G36 on Amazon. The link will be in the description too. Here with the latest G36, we're gonna go ahead and shoot it. We'll test the FPS on it. I think you guys can see there's gel balls in there. This is somewhat translucent. Of course, this is a mechanical magazine, so you're gonna definitely wanna prime it. So you're just gonna sit here and click this button until we get one to jump out the top there. There you see those jumping out, that means it's primed. So just remember with this type of magazine, you always need to prime it when you fill it up. So that's an expectation and just you need to be cool with that. They do seem to work fine. That's just the step that you need to make sure you're willing to take, right? The other thing I wanna point out is if you guys ever have problems with any blasters that you purchase on Amazon, use the ask a seller, ask the seller a question Send them a message, tell them what's going on. They will do whatever they can to help you to replace parts. They don't want you to return things if they can help you through it, and they'll definitely do their best to do that. So just consider that um, instead of immediately returning things, reach out to them. They'll help you with technical support. Of course, you can feel free to reach out to me as well. I always try to help you uh, if I can. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and we'll shoot it. Let's test the FPS on it. All right, shooting pretty good. Let's see where we're at here. So about 133, 135 average FPS. There was a high as high as 146. Um, still, you know, 135, not bad for a mechanical magazine. So something to think about. So what do you guys think? Comments, questions, please post them below. Um, other thing, of course, as with all magazines, make sure you keep this magazine empty when you're done and even like open the little door, let it air out, you know, after you get all of those out of there and you clear that feed tube. Okay, so yeah, please comment questions. Of course, please like, please subscribe, share my channel with your friends and participate in all the giveaways. Thanks.